Hello, Galilean Church. This is Pastor John connecting with you, and I'd like to share a devotion with you today. And the the prophets of old, the prophets from the Old Testament, have really shown me encouragement and guidance during this difficult time. And I'd like to share with you a passage from Isaiah and a little bit of background regarding Isaiah. Isaiah is speaking to a people in crisis. The people have been taken away from their homes. The people have been uprooted from their their homes and they are in panic. They are angry. They are confused. And they feel as if God has forsaken them. As if God was defeated, in a sense. As if God has distanced himself from them. And they are confused. They are um, unsure about the future. And Isaiah speaks to them words of encouragement, words of guidance, words of support. And explains to them that God has not forsaken them. God has not left them. God has not, uh, has not been defeated. God continues to maintain his covenant relationship with them. And God loves them. And I think that's an encouraging word to us today. I think many of us fall in the same category. We are in a time of great crisis, of confusion, turmoil, and we may feel as if God no longer cares for us, as if God has been defeated, if God is distant. But I think the words from Isaiah really give us comfort and encouragement clarity that God is there in our midst and is with us. So I'd like to read to you Isaiah chapter 41, verse 7. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Do not fear. Do not be dismayed. These are powerful words. They function as imperatives. They are telling us, commanding us, not to fear, not to be dismayed, because God is our God. He loves us. He is with us. He will not forsake us. He has not been defeated. He continues to minister to us. He continues to guide us. He continues to give us wisdom and direction. And we can have great comfort and great uh, direction uh, during this time. Thank you so much. Bye.